Welcome to The Hunger Games, another part series of The Hunger Games on Minecraft. It's another bit of a play around. I'm using the Modern Craft uh, resource pack and I'm going on NC Simple Gaming. So that's the sort of introduction to today's video. I'm not making too much of a video series on Hunger Games, but it's just one or two extra videos every now and again and it's just going to be a bit of fun. So there we go. So welcome to the lobby for the first game in the Minecraft series. Well, it's been a couple of video <laughs> of videos already on it, but for the first vid game of this video, so there we go. We've got Max V fifty six, Dragoon, Jasmine, and Erica. One looks like a leg in a Zelda. It looks like I don't know. I've just gone down into the pit a bit further, so not done that. But yeah, so I'll jump cut to the game's beginning, and then you can have a feel for the adventure. That guy actually reminds me of something. I can't think what. Okay, game starting in 10 seconds. I'm not sure if to just grab it to the cornucopia. I know, I might just get something quickly. Get, get, get. Ah, didn't grab it in time. My mouse is very terrible today. As you can see, I slid off the treasure set. That's absolutely great. Some guy's actually going to murder me behind me. It looks like some kind of kids and animals. Let's have a look. It looks like a cat. I've got no idea, but it looks mildly good for now compared to going back there. So there is a door, the outer town. I guess I'm a bit out of town. Okay, how do I get up? That's the first question. get in if anyone actually knew put in the comments below this is going to be a fail already ah, there's an actual donkey donkey save me it's not actually a donkey it's actually a, probably a horse but oh well and now let's just call it a donkey oh uh, right there's the treasure chest behind here good job for treasure and we've got a compass that's can tell us where everybody is an apple i'm just going to club everyone with an apple to death I know great, a stone pickaxe. Now I can actually mine everybody's head in. <laughs> but there's nothing to mine because I can't mine a block. That was the most useful thing I've ever seen. I suppose it does a few more damage points. I've got no idea, and so on the postcard below. That was one of the greatest quiz quotes of all time. And they used to say that on quiz shows. Okay, so compass point me okay that way I don't really want to go that way although I kind of am every time I see that flower bulb put down I thought it was a person okay so into the deep dark woods hopefully there's nobody waiting for me oh we can actually break trees down so probably there's something around here no, in my look, probably not. I'm just barking at the wrong tree. <laughs> which was a terrible pun. Which was an absolute terrible pun. I didn't actually even realise I made that. But yeah, so going around. He can see. I always leave that going around. It's like my favourite cat's phrase of the show. And <laughs> I wonder what everyone else's cat's phrase would be on this show. One of the better cat's phrase. If you can suggest one that I do say a lot. And then please go uh, uh, that would be quite useful. Okay, so this is the end of the earth, it looks like. And I don't want to let him plummet down there too often. Now hopefully somebody's standing on the eggs and I can just whack him keekily off. Okay, maybe you can use the force field. Try and throw something. If I remember the key to throw in Minecraft. I'm not the biggest minecraft player, I do enjoy it and I guess I haven't got as much time to play it because I'm always playing something I do love minecraft I 
probably haven't got the knowledge of somebody that's an absolute uber geek on it. That these videos are more for the kind of fun expert and to just give you a bit of an entertaining view on it rather than critique or which has always been or you know uh, more like a tutorial that's what I'm trying to say we're doing more South Park scene as well I think and some GeoGuessr I'm not sure so whether the GeoGuessr is going to be before this or after this so we just have to wait and see I'm going around in bloody circles again that was there before this I'm just going crazy which I probably am this is probably not normal well not not normal whichever works but looking around that force field is there and it seems to bend around there I'm not sure if a bend is a good thing or not team kick I think I'm getting beaten by chickens okay so there is something here finally at long last my luck might be reversing on itself and I might actually have good luck as strange as it sounds so I'm looking now, I can have a look into this uh, house and see what's in there so entering here we can have a look and find a bathtub on this Tetsuka bag it looks like and a diamond spade so at least I can spade someone to death and looking now we can find some seals, a carrot, a diamond pickaxe and the torch. I'm not sure which one does the most damage between the diamond pickaxe and the diamond spade. I'm not sure if either one do <laughs> all that much to be fairly honest. So I think I'm left. Started. The only other thing I've got an idea of go back into the middle, see if anyone's left anything. Although I'm sure they're all ganging up on me around the middle. But there's all waiting for me. Ok we can see some health bars on these cows which is quite helpful Ok we've got some raw beef, I'm not sure if that's poisonous or not I think it don't do much as it's cooked Which is quite hard to do when you're in the Hunger Games Ok there's a mountain That is quite a big mountain This test bag is, back, is a bit more speedy than the last one I do like both of them give the uh, link in the description below to the Tetsuka pack so do you want it I'm not going paid again to say all that but it's quite a very good Tetsuka pack and I do like it myself so that's why it's there ok so how do I get that one because the bloody thing won't open because there's something on top of it I'm guessing that I need to work this out I could even hide all here all day but and nobody would find me because everyone would be stuck behind the gate guess that's a good hidey hole oh I need this bone I might look kicking spot but yeah this is uh, the minecraft version of Ben Nevitz right who's betting that I'm gonna fall down on flat on my face when climbing up this mountain let's have a look uh, I need some proper hiking gear probably yodeling the mountain so let's just keep on pressing space I need something to just press space for me if I'm lazy I chicken this is not helping me some fire and some iron leggings <laughs> iron iron legging uh, my speeds Benny, I on leggings. There we go, whatever. I'm not going to correct myself. You can correct me for me. I need to pay for that. <laughs> if anyone does want to volunteer that. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm only kidding. Uh, right. Can find some kick, kin. And going wrong. I've had a speech defect in some of my videos. It is quite a hard thing to come across, overcome. Okay, I'm right near the cornucopia again. So I could do a little bit of a spying mission. I'm kind of right back where I started. I probably did the full 360 of the map. 
I bet that's a bit. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Gladly. That is. And I've also got a clock in here. Some melon. Uh, some more beef. And some leather. So. Looking around. There's nobody. So let's quickly. Uh, what have I got now? Iron. Okay, diamonds. Got melon in. And use the gold sword. I know it's not great. But when you're in the Hunger Games. Anything's better than nothing. So, going around to the cornucopia, I better be quick around this bit. But I bet there's something somebody's left behind. Okay, look. I bet somebody took it all out. I bet everybody's been raiding this. Okay, that's it. Ah! Oh! Snuck around me. Kiki get. That was a kiki get. But yeah, that's been the first of the Hunger Games. I think this is going to end this episode. We'll be doing a small series. It's nothing too big or too unique about it. But it's just something I like to do for a bit of fun. And to give you a bit of an entertaining viewing as well. To give you a bit of an entertaining Minecraft series. There will also be Feed the Beats. Starring both me and Ant. Over the next few weeks. Well, probably months as well. That's going to be a big series. And um, we're going to be playing the Feed the Beast server. Well, mod. And that concludes today's uh, Hunger Games series. I hope you've enjoyed. And this is the second episode in the Hunger Games uh, Games Defined playlist. There'll be another couple. But after that, I think we'll be doing some other stuff. We'll probably have one or two occasional. So if you like it, please like and subscribe. It really does help a small grand channel. The more likes and subscribe we get, the more we grow. And the more everything becomes great and wonderful. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Take care.